a series of unfortunate events. I got on my first crash. That car, hey, our car, scraped up all the way, all the way underneath the bottom. We can't open that door or that door. The whole front of it is ripped up. Our rims are broken underneath the car. We went up onto the sidewalk. Well, I wasn't in the car. Alyssa was. Now we gotta try and get this figured out, I just huh? See Dal running down, <laughs> running yeah, down it looked like probably a superhero running down the street in the snow. <laughs> well, you guys, we. Uh, I can't even sit up front because the door is jammed. Yeah, we just got in a rig. Well, she did. But it wasn't her fault. Yeah, she was driving way too fast for the snow. I'm like, girl. So I'm down the end of our street and it's a, all the way straight through one way and then yields on the other side and the lady didn't yield and she hit Alyssa so hard it hit Alyssa up onto the curb busted the front of our car both doors can't open that's why this, Alyssa's in the back this door can this the, oh the back door can yeah. the front door can't open yeah we're out of Utah car this is our Utah car this sucks so bad it was a hard hit. Did like, it I jolt that, you at all? Yeah, I thought the airbags were gonna come out. Uh, no, I don't think so. They had to hit pretty hard in the front. They hit the side of your car. Oh, I felt like it was that hard. <laughs> I needed that to fall. So when we got here, she, like, I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna call the cops. And she goes, do you think we need to? I'm like, uh, yeah, the we do. The whole side of our car's ripped up. <laughs> I'm like, well, my car is messed up. They're not very nice about it. You kind of can't be, though. I mean, like, you can be nice, but, like, you also have to protect yourself. So, yeah, she just, like, tried leaving, and then she, like, walked to her husband's house or something. Oh, here's the cop. Here's the cop. Gotta go. It's so crazy, because, like, I didn't even know what to do because I'd never even been in a crash. I just heard that you're supposed to call the cops. I was like, oh gosh. So I called the cops and I also like called my insurance guy to help me figure everything out. I ran like a mile to the right. Yeah, literally you couldn't even see while you were running. Yeah, it was like a blizzard running in my face. All she said is I got in a car wreck and then hung up. She said she was like down the street. So I was like, okay, well, there's only a few places I can go. So I just started I started running. looking. <laughs> I know, he just hung up on the phone. And I was like, what the heck? Oh, I hung up? Yeah, you oh. hung up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even uh, know. I was just, but you got here quick. I was in the zone. My feet are numb. Danger zone, danger zone. <laughs> just putting on chapstick. Gosh. The lady, literally, she's a typical Utah driver. Yeah. So dumb. She's literally trying to say that it's not her fault. This is so stupid. The cop's like, um, no, you're in the wrong. <laughs> trying to explain to her why she's in the wrong. Yeah, I asked the cop, I was like, so her insurance is gonna cover this, right? So I just put like a top <laughs> chest. <laughs> she turned it on me, I'm like, dang, dude, I can see myself through that reflection. Um, the cop's like, oh yeah, her insurance will cover it. She's supposed to yield to you. Yeah, she's so. Editing Alyssa here and also Alyssa who just woke up. <laughs> but I'm gonna explain a little bit more on how the crash went. So basically I'm driving straight. This lady is coming this way and she has a yield sign. She doesn't even try to like slow down or stop. Keep in mind it was so icy, so snowy, so you wanna go slow. I literally left an hour before I needed to to get where I was going because I wanted to be able to drive slow and safe. I don't know what she was doing, but she was not driving slow. So I'm driving straight and I see she's like like back here. And um, so I'm like, oh, I'll be able to get through this. Even if she slides on ice, like I would still get past her. Um, but she didn't even like try to slow down, didn't even like try to hit her brakes. So. I was going in like this, she hit the front of my car, so the my doors, and then the back of my car. So, it sucks so bad. My like washer fluid completely fell out. I think that's what it's called. I don't really know. Washer fluid fell out, and it's just not good. We're in Utah. 
that's our only car that we have here. So we're like, what do we do? We need to get a rental car. Our, the insur her insurance company can't get a hold of her. So therefore we can't get a rental car because we don't know if it will be covered. And so anyway, we are trying to figure that out. But luckily my brothers have a car here. So we've been able to drive theirs. And then um, my brother-in-law, Alex, gave Dallin his car yesterday. So it's been good, but it just sucks so bad. So we're still trying to get in contact with insurance and hopefully they have some news for us. They tried calling yesterday, but I was at Indy Clover training, so I didn't see it. And then I called back before even hours should be closed, but I didn't get an answer. So hopefully we get news today, better news today. And I don't know, we think it's like gonna be classified as totaled I hope not I really want it to be able to get fixed because it's like my favorite car I love it even though I've had it since high school it's a great car it works perfectly it worked perfectly before so I don't know this is a sucky situation <laughs> but I'm so grateful we have my brother's car and that's just very helpful because we're literally here for any clover training so we have to be driving every single day so kind of sucks but glad we have something to even drive also yes for clarification it was just me in the car i was going to indy clover Dallin was staying home for a little bit because he had doctor's appointments and then he was gonna come later and i'd pick him up but i didn't even get there so i i wasn't too far from home so Dallin was able to run like we were saying and get to me okay i was editing this video and i got a call from the entrance people and he told me where to take my car to and it was like 25 miles so 30 minute drive it ended up being quite a bit longer Dallin's driving my car and we're about to pull up um but we had to go really slow because my bumper is almost sitting on my tire on my front tire so not good but I'm very very happy that my car is going to be at least like in a shop getting ready to be worked on so there's the update I will say this stress has not been doing me good. <laughs> My skin is so bad right now. Love that. Did you get to come for the ride? Here's a little update for you guys. So we dropped off my car at the auto body shop. They're gonna have an estimator look to see how much it will be or to see if it's just totaled. We don't know yet. I'm hoping that it's just fixable because I love that car, I was saying that earlier. But that will take about four days to get an estimate on how much it will be. And then they'll start on it in a week. So we're not going to be here in a week. So we'll have to call on some family members to help pick it up. So whenever we're in Utah next, we can have it. Hopefully. I'm anxious to hear what happens with it. But anyways, I'm going to end this video here. Follow on Instagram or TikTok. I'll be giving like frequent updates there. I might post a short on here or something to give another quick update. But that's the update for now. So crazy. Of course, I get in a car crash in Utah where we don't even live anymore. <laughs> I'm like, this is just lovely. <laughs> so anyways, glad we're figuring things out though. It's moving. I'm just very anxious to hear what um, the estimator and adjuster have to say about my car. But thank you guys for all your sweet messages. I've posted on Instagram the day this happened and so many of you guys were so sweet asking me if I was okay. And yes, I'm good. My neck hurts a little bit from I think when she hit me, I tensed up so tight, but I'm feeling actually quite a bit better today. It's been three days since it happened. So, or two days, I don't even know anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in our next video. Bye you guys.